Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan and on this channel you will find financial, travel and more videos. If you like what you see, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you. Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of Rewards and Points video and I'll be talking about the SIN loyalty program in Canada. SIN is a movie loyalty program uh, which is a joint uh, program offered by Scotia Bank and Cineplex and the program is going through a massive devaluation and I'll talk about the devaluation and I'll tell you what to do uh, to avoid the devaluation for those points you already have so for the next of, uh, for the rest of the video I'll take you to uh, SIN devaluation chart page which is provided by SIN and in order to see the page you can go to SIN.ca and then if you just keep scrolling down towards the a very end of the page then you'll see that there is a join the conversation section and then there is the scene is updating the points you earn and redeem at the movie and then just click on it and that's where you will see uh, the point chart and the details so let's start with uh, what it is now and how uh, things are going to change so let's start with what uh, sin is telling us uh, which is on the right side of the screen an important update to share starting April 15 you will earn and redeem more scene points on your movie ticket and five points for every one dollar you spend on food and drink at Cineplex uh, theaters as always you will always continue to earn free movie for every 10 that you see plus there are other ways to earn more points to get the rewards you love even faster okay so now here telling uh, making it sound like it's a good thing that you know uh, it's changing uh, the rewards structure and uh, they're not saying anywhere that uh, this is actually a devaluation so what it is that you're going to still earn one free movie uh, when you watch every 10 movies uh, that is not going to change but if you have points uh, right now those points are going to be devalued after our starting April 17 and if you look at the chart so right now you earn uh, 100 points for a regular movie and to redeem a regular movie you require 10 1000 points so that means that uh, you know one movie for every 10 movies but starting April 17 you're going to be earning 125 points per movie and you'll be requiring 1250 points per movie the catch right here is that if you have uh, lots of points right now you're going to be needing 1000 points to watch a movie but after April 17 you would require 1250 points to watch a movie so for example if you have 5000 points you'll be able to see um, five movies right now but if you redeem the same 5000 points after April 17 you're going to get only four movies instead of five movies so if you have uh, points you better redeem them before April 17 uh, to make the most out of it because this is going to be a massive devaluation for those who have lots of uh, scene points piling up now the most uh, cut I can see here that uh, for this one right here the enhanced movies which are ultra AVX or IMAX or D box uh, so right now you earn 150 points per movie and you require 1500 points per movie but starting April 17 you're going to be earning 200 and redeeming 2000 for uh, each movie so if you have uh, points right now you'd require only 1500 points to watch a specialized movie but you would require 2000 points after 17th of April so in this section your movie your points are going to get the most hit because you're just losing 500 points per movie which is a massive uh, devaluation and then uh, VIP cinemas are uh, you know uh, going to get worst hit as well but I would recommend that you know just use up your points before the cutoff date which is April 17 now at food and drink uh, you are also going to get a lot less points uh, for example uh, right now you earn 10 points per dollar when you buy snacks food and drink but after April 17 you're going to be earning only five points per dollar but if you look at the redemption rate still you'd get only five points per uh, five dollars per 500 points and right now you're going to get 500 uh, 
five dollars per 500 points so here your points value is going down totally half in terms of the earning rate because one dollar would give you 10 points right now and which is going to give you five points after april 17 but your earning rates are still the same so you're going to get uh half uh the devaluation in terms of earning now in terms of meals and more looks like they haven't changed anything uh you know the earn rate is one uh, three points uh sorry one point per three dollars and redemption rate is ten dollars per one thousand points so in terms of earning uh, for dining and meals, the rate of return is very poor because you're earning like uh, each point is close to one cent. So per dollar, you're earning approximately one third of a cent, which is very bad earning rate for this section. And it's not going to change after April 17. So the best losers would be uh, the regular movie uh, in terms of redeeming them and then also the enhanced uh, movie and the vip uh, movies but most people would stick to either regular or enhanced so if you have points then i suggest just you know try to finish them by april 17 so you don't get devalued devalued as much as what you are looking right now so this is a very bad news and the worst news is that Sin didn't give anyone enough time to use up their points. They're just like, you know, uh, gave that, this uh, declaration today and you have almost one and a half month to redeem points before that uh, deadline, which is April 17. So that's all for today's video. On this channel, I do non-affiliated unbiased and honest opinion reviews on credit cards points miles and i have lots of travel videos which are my own experiences so i travel the world using points and miles and then i document my travel and share with you so if you haven't subscribed already subscribe now because there will be more videos coming up and i'll see you shortly thank you